Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 0 of Let's Play Elder Scrolls Online. Why 0? Why? Because it's character creation time, don't you know? Very quickly though, let me just tell you that this uh, playthrough is going to be uh, the... We're basically going to be focusing on the main story of the vanilla game and the Alliance Zones. And as of the time of this recording, I still haven't fully figured out the order I'm going to do that in. I kind of want to leave out the main story as much as I can until the end. Um, but mainly we're going to be focusing on the Alliance Zones for the character that we're going to be creating. Um, I have I have a few hundred hours on PC and then I decided to make this character who is my main character on Xbox. You may have seen from my Adventures in Tamriel videos. Uh, but today we're going to be creating an exclusive character. Put some clothes on man. We're going to be creating an exclusive character for this Let's Play. And uh, I have plans going forwards for future expansions and stuff. But that's well in the future and we'll talk about that as we get there. But I have a basic understanding of the character I want to make today. He's going to be a high elf, uh, and he's going to be a sorcerer. And I do plan on making this a beginner-friendly series, so for people who just want to experience the story through this Let's Play, or for people who maybe want to understand how the game works during this Let's Play, I'm going to try and explain things as clearly as possible. Uh, but for the time being, all I will tell you is that we are going to be making a stamina-based sorcerer, which means that he will be using swords. I think he'll be a dual wielder, I might need to consult a guide. Um, but for the most part, this game doesn't punish you for just making what you want to make which is the beauty of Elder Scrolls Online. There's definitely meta builds, and there's a brilliant website called Alcast, which you'll hear me referring to fairly often, uh, which will tell you... Uh, it'll give you guides to make various builds, um, but we're not going to be worrying about that right now. Right now we're going to be making our character, and he's going to be a high elf, and he's going to be a sorcerer. So, here he is. I have no idea what we're going to call him either. Uh, I have no idea anything about him other than the general idea. I think I want him to be... I mean, he's going to be using swords, so he should be fairly muscular, and he's an elf, so he's going to be quite lean, so that's probably fine. I'm not the kind of person who spends ages doing every single thing, uh, but I feel like this guy's going to be quite tall, because elf archetype. I haven't really played a high elf in any Elder Scrolls game, except for my first ever real playthrough of Skyrim, so this will be fun. Uh, what kind of skin colour we're going to go for here? Do we want him to look kind of palish and humanish, or do we want him to look quite yellow and high elfy? Oof, pardon me. Oops. Let's have a look what we're going to do. But yeah, I'm really excited to make this series. I know this is the second Let's Play. I think we're going to make him quite pale, you know. I feel like he's a pale boy. Let's do that. Um... This is only my second Let's Play, like, in the quote-unquote Let's Plays I've done, but I've been making videos for ages. The first Let's Play of a Super Mario Bros. Let's Play was kind of a test to see... Whoops, hang on. Uh, to see how well I could record videos in general, uh, and I'm happy with how I'm going to record these now, so hopefully nothing's going to go wrong. I like the idea of him having that little cross scar there. I do like that. I don't think it goes up to his face. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, I'm wary of having him in his underpants for too long because uh, YouTube might not like that. So, yes, that'll all be fine. As for his face, uh, this is like this little triangle. I don't think it's in other Elder Scrolls games. It's it's just a little thing to kind of help you customize your character's face without having to worry about all of the individual little specifications. Uh, but again, I think we're going to have him... I think I think that's good. I'm definitely going to change his eyebrows. I don't like his eyebrows. I, that's fine. Uh, as for age, he's going to be fairly young. Adornment. I. Oh, this is just facial hair. Yeah, we'll do some facial hair. I do like how the facial hair looks in this game. Maybe not so much the full grown beards. Like for instance, I think this looks really dumb on a high elf. I don't like it when I see high elves with beards like this. This isn't so bad though this little bit. I mean I'm not gonna do it but um, my main character on PC is a dark elf and he has this and I think we're gonna go with it again just like this clean cut facial hair I, I quite like the look of it hairstyle arguably the most important part of the character I really want this guy to have short hair uh, I think I've got an idea of what I want his haircut to be as well uh, if I can find it is it that one? No. Not that one. 
Oh no, did I make it up? Is it all in my head? Because every race has access to the same basic haircuts in the character creator. Uh, was it this one? I mean, this will do, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess it's this one then. I guess it just looks better on a dark elf with dark hair. That's fine. So I was originally going to make a dark elf and then I realised uh, we were going to do all of the dark elf zones. But then I realised I uh, I already have a dark elf on this account and the way the character slots work you only get one character slot per race so I'm hesitant to make a double of any. I do already have a high elf but I think I'm going to delete her anyway. Um, do they not have any like just black hair? Because that's not quite black. I guess we could give him orangey, gingery hair. That looks kind of cool. Hmm. That's grey. Yeah, I guess there's like no black hair. Oh well. Um, in that case, well, I don't know, I like this. It's all quite muted, the colours in this game, so it's kind of hard to choose. But yeah, I'm only planning on making the character in this recording uh, because a performance patch comes out tomorrow, which is going to mean that I can play this in 60 frames. It's still going to be recorded in 30, but um, I'm going to be happy about being able to play it in 60, and it's going to look a little bit better as well, I think. Uh, I don't see any head markings here that I particularly want. Uh, and all of this... Oh, this is... Uh, I always forget for the eyebrows. Oh, I think that's here. This is important. Uh, hang on. <laughs> See, the problem is, because this is all the voice you ever get in the game, uh, if you choose the wrong one, it really stands out to you in combat. I want this guy to sound kind of heroic. He's not going to be a meanie. Although it's really fun to play as a villain in Elder Scrolls games. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, as for his eye colour, I really like how elf eyes look in this game. Uh, so we'll choose a good one. Maybe green? Is there a good green to choose from? Is this good? No, that looks weird. Huh. I don't know. I mean, golden makes sense for a high elf, but, like, he's not, like, a Templar or anything. And, like, I kind of like to have my characters themed in the most obvious ways. Like, the archetypes are kind of fun to make. I do like blue. Should we go with blue? Let's give him dreamy aqua blue eyes. <laughs> uh, as for the eyebrows, they have got to change. I hate when the eyebrow kind of goes away from the clear eyebrow bone, or whatever it's called. Uh, so when they go up like that, instead of around like that, in other words. Uh, eyebrows change quite a lot about a person's features, I've got to say. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. That one gives you a scar. Weird. I've never, never noticed that before. I kind of like that. Like he's got kind of big bushy brows and a scar across his eye. I don't know, what do you think? I mean, it's too late now because I I, I recorded this weeks ago. <laughs> That's the thing with these videos. I'm going to have to try and not make any like timely references. Good lord, look at that mono brow. Uh, because it'll be out of date by the time you get to see it. Um, I might just go for the simple one, actually. Uh, and I guess, I guess that's our guy. Let me just... Yeah, I guess that's a cool character. Now the problem is, what do we name him? Because I've immediately forgotten what high elf names are like. I might have to look some up to make sure he... Uh... Let me just preview... Hang on. I'm flipping to him too fast. Wait, what? Is this broken? No gear. Novice gear. For whatever reason, novice gear is also just naked. Sure, okay, weird. Alright, high elf names. I'm gonna Google this real quick. Alright, 
I've got a list of names in front of me. I'm not going to use any of them, but I'm going to use them for inspiration. One that's really standing out to me right now is Ganlon. Um, or, I guess, Ganalon. I thought it was Ganalon. Apparently there's a high elf called Gandalf in Arena or Daggerfall. Weird. Um, but there's Cyrilon. I like Cyrilon. So, so I'm liking but Alon at the end of it. How about, like... Carillon. Carillon something. Because <laughs> you can do last names in this one as well. I'm not looking how that's spelt though. I think maybe an E. This is how I name my characters, by the way. Carillon. Yeah, I think I like that. Although I, that does mean he's called Carol. <laughs> that's fine though. Uh, fancy names are like that sometimes. <laughs> Carillon. Uh, Carolon Mandrell. Mm. Carolon Mandrell? I might need to change your first name a bit. I don't like how it sounds like carry on. Tarolon? Tarolon. Hmm. Tarolon. We could go Farolon. And that would be like a little. <laughs> a little homage to the zone that never made it into Warlords of Draenor. Um, that's right, I'm a World of Warcraft player. Uh, Farallon, Tarallon. I mean, it's not the way it's spelled. I mean, Garolon isn't really a name that's in here. It's Ganlon, and I, I, mi I mixed it up with Cyrilon, so Garolon could be a name. What do you think, Garolon Mandrill? I think that's fine. I think the second you start overthinking a name, it becomes impossible to think of a good name. And you should probably go with your first real instinct of like a, a, a name like na -na 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 -na, like Garolon Mandrell. That's our high elf. That's our character for this playthrough of the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, and we're also going to view the new tutorial, which came with uh, this expansion. So I'm not actually going to do it now. Uh, this is going to be the end of the episode. So thank you for watching. Once again, this is very much going to be focused on... No, I'm not awake. Go away. I'm not here. You, mis you, you misunderstand me. <laughs> this will be focused on um, kind of like a let's play that's approachable by everyone. So again, if you've never played the game, I'm going to make sure that you know what's going on. Uh, if you want to know how the skills and classes work, I'm going to explain them. But if you're only here for the story, I'm not going to linger on them too long. Uh, if you're a veteran player of a game, hopefully my personality is enough to keep you around. Um, but this is Garolon Mandrell. He is a high elf sorcerer. He's going to be a stamina sorcerer. He's going to dual wield swords and use lightning spells and stuff like that. And it's going to be a good time. And I hope you will join me. So thank you very much for tuning in to episode 0 of The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, and join me when we go through the High Elf Zones. And the thing that's exciting to me personally about that is that I have not done them. Um, I've done all of the Daggerfall story and I've done all of the, uh, uh, the, the Ebonheart Pact story. But I've never done the Old Merry Dominion story. So this will be... this, Even though it's like a play, a game that I'm very well acquainted with... Uh, it's also going to be a bit of a new experience for me. So thank you for watching uh, and I will see you in the next video.